Today we're going to demonstrate to you the uh, SCS PTC2 radio modem. It uses the Pector2 uh, modulation method. This particular one was uh, private labeled by Pino Digital, a company that supplies communication equipment to, uh, to the maritime world. The uh, <coughs> unit works from 12 volts. We'll turn it on. As you can see it's uh, initializing. It's waiting for a signal from the RS-232. Um, we have it hooked up to a terminal, basically a PC running the Airmail 3 client. Um, we will start the Airmail 3 client. This client looks a lot like normal email programs. The only difference is that it uh, interfaces with the radio modem. Um, as you can see we have not set not yet send a uh, RS-232 signal. We're going to do that by opening the terminal window. <coughs> I'll uh, show you the display when I do that. As you see, uh, software version 4.0 and uh, a 2 Mac RAM is installed, SRAM. Um, here you see the terminal window. Modem is released, PTC2 modem. It has the professional firmware version 4.0. It does not have the Pector 3 license, although the hardware is capable of doing the Pector 3 modem as well. But you need to buy a license from uh, SCS to, uh, to use that as well. All right, I prepared a, uh, an email here, test email. We're going to send that email to the email address ptc2 at mailinator.com. Mailinator is a uh, online uh, mail service, email service, that allows us to check online whether the email made it or not. Uh, we're going to post that for sending, which is what we did now. So once we make contact uh, with a uh, with an uh, Pector node on the shortwave, we will be able to send that out over the airways. The radio we're going to use is a uh, FT990 Yezu. It is uh, set for uh, Pector. And we're going to initialize the uh, transmission by Clicking this button here, as you see, we're, the note that we're going to use is KC4TVO. This is, oh, we're making contact here. Green means that packets are sent. Uh, with a uh, without errors, the signal is fairly strong. Although I have a lot of QRM on uh, on 20 meters right now, which is the frequency we're using, 14.106.7. As you can see, the email is going out. This is the progress bar. Yellow means uh, that the node requested a, re a retransmission of the packet. Looks like the email was sent out. Red means that a packet was uh, received an error and a retry is requested. All right. The uh, email has been sent out. Unit is back to standby. This is the identifier for KC4TVO. Let's see if the uh, email actually made it. To do that, we're going to leave the uh, the client and we're going to open a browser. Uh, we're going to Mailinator. This is the uh, online mail service, email service. The email that we have used is uh, PTC2.
and as you can see we have an email from windlink.org which is the host uh, uh, domain name and let's see there is our email Pector 3 uh, Pector 2 SCS PDC 2 radio email test it made it so basically the uh, the note to which I sent the uh, email over the airwaves has retransmitted the um, the email to the uh, proper recipient which was the uh, mailinator uh, mail host Pector 2 works great actually I like Pector 2 more than Pector 3 when it comes to very weak signal work Pector uh, Pector 2 only uses a 500 Hz bandwidth on the uh, communication channel on the short wave. Pector 3 uses the full uh, 2.5 uh, uh, kilohertz, and Pector, uh, sorry, Pector 3 uses 2.5 kilohertz. Pector 2 uses only 500 Hz. So when it comes to weak signal work, you cannot beat Pector 2, to my opinion. And uh, these are quite uh, uh, nice little modems. I mean, uh, the guys from SCS make the best mod modems in the world. It's it's a, it's a great protocol. You can actually sometimes still get a transmission through while you don't even hear it on the radio anymore. So this is my uh, preferred method of the uh, digital modes. It is a fully uh, synchronous mode. Um, that is where the uh, Pector mode is much better than, for instance, the Winmore mode, which uses a sound card. That protocol is not synchronous. It needs a, uh, a run-in uh, pattern for each packet that's sent, which makes the whole thing much more prone to interference and, uh, and uh, burst kind of uh, interference, which you have on shortwave. And that concludes our uh, demonstration for the SCS PDC2 modem and the Pector2 mode. Thank you for watching.